Hi everyone and welcome to a video that's a little bit different this time. Editing makes here. I'm sorry everyone. I I messed up. Okay, I kind of want to say the F word in the intro, but I am trying my best to voice over it. You get the frog pope back and I hope you can still enjoy this content. We're going to be diving into that first level on the Isle of Dorne, which is the content that you're going to be starting in if the add-on releases or when the add-on releases, I should say. We're also going to take a sneak peek at the very first delve and I really liked it. So I hope you do too. Stay tuned. Right off the bat, we're seeing a new feature, which is the Warband feature. Now, here you can have four characters. You can choose them your own. It doesn't matter whether they're Horde, what server they're on, Alliance, uh, if you play that for some reason. You can all have them here. And Warbands is Blizzard's new approach to making everything account-wide. When I say everything, I mean everything. We're talking gold. We're talking gearing. We're talking quests. It should be much, much easier easier to maintain these salts if that's what you're looking for. Even transmog, really. So very, very cool new feature that thus far we haven't seen too much of it, but we heard some really cool news. I have specifically avoided to look at things beforehand so we can experience it together uh, anew. Okay, let's go. I will say I only played Demon Hunter thus far due to just a lack of time and I used a starter build. I did try different stuff with the hero talents to see how they feel, but eventually you're just going to get all of them anyhow. So really it doesn't matter too much, but there is something new, which is the spells panel. It is pretty big now. I feel like we could reduce it, but thus far there aren't any plans for that. Um, just so you know what we're starting with. As per usual, we land on an island, we have to help some people, kill some things, free some NPCs, and right at the start we get Anduin and Magni back, and now we need to help them to try and beat back these Nerubians, really. Queen's Guard Cyrix begins to call another swarm to the beach. Magni and his allies brace themselves for one final stand. Suddenly, Belgrim and the Storm Riders appear and attack Xerix. Xerix and the Nerubians were away, retreating. Belgrim is astonished to see Magni and begins to interrogate him about his presence here. There is a massive explosion in the distance towards Starnagal, their city. Cool guys don't look at explosions, Ari. As you can see, Dragon Flying is back and now available on basically every mound you already own. It is back for leveling as well, and that made the entire experience a lot better. I'm so glad they capped it. We arrive in Dornigal, the new main city, and we clear it out from all these little spider friends and make sure we get our own place back. What is the plan? Oh, another, another cutscene. Ryle, Jainer, Alaria, and Anduin gather in Dornigal to discuss the loss of their joint strike force. They take a moment for Khadgar. Ryle and Jaina say that they will return home and work to rally the naval fleets to Khazalgar, asking Anduin and Alaria to stay behind for the survivors. Alaria sets her sights on hunting down Goth... Gothar. <laughs> I'm already sorry. Tell me about the Council of Dornigal. The Titans uplifted four wards. The Council. What? I, I cannot read this fast. I was distracted. Something with the wards. I'm going to stand in the light. Titans left. Machines stopped. Somebody left. This guy. It was a girl. And then this guy was mad. The machine speakers are cut off from us. We have no means to fix the core way. We can fix it, I'm sure. I'm like, I'm like a, a big shot. Everything here reminds me of The Hobbit, and I'm, I'm not mad about that at all. Feels like I'm, I'm playing WoW in The Hobbit. Pretty good. Where are we teleporting? Merrick sounds like makes, but spelled wrong. I, I vote they give this person a new name. I don't like it. Where are we going? Adelgon found. Down there? Okay. Hi, are you Adelgon? Another cutscene. Let's go. 
this place looks really nice. Belgrim leads Moira, that's me, to Freyworld. They are introduced to Algon, the former stone ward, whom Belgrim hasn't se seen in thousands of years. It is a tense meeting that Moira must defuse. Wait, why? We don't like each other? So after we saved the capital, we're now delving, Ooh. you heard that one right, into our first adventure in the Delves. This is a new feature in The War Within, and you can compare it a little bit to scenarios back in MOP or Torghast back in Shadowlands. You can go alone, you can go with other people if I'm not mistaken, and there will be different difficult levels. Now, there is one item in there that's probably going to be important for the late game, but there even were some ideas ideas around giving us tier gear in these delves, so they're definitely going to be important for your late game experience. What you have to do is basically just follow a quest, kill some mobs, click on some items and manage your way through with different affixes and you can also get buffs from extra items in there similar to the ones that we received in Torghast. Now, I think the highest level is going to be tier 11. Right now on the alpha, you can only test tier one and tier two, so very easy. They don't really feel challenging. You're just rushing through. Um, I'm curious how they actually feel on a level 10, a level 11, uh, that kind of stuff, but we'll see in the future. Okay. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. That's everyone here. Let's keep this cart moving. Where are we moving to? Why can I not drive on the cart? Why am I running next to it like a peasant? Watch out! Watch out! Pew! Oh wait, there's more. There will be another video coming that's focused on the Dells entirely, but I thought I'll just speed up this process to give you an idea of how they feel. Choose. Okay, so this is now an upgrade. It's a barrier. Upon exploration, the shield will explode and deal damage. I'm actually curious what you think now that you're looking at these delves. Do you like them? Do you like that idea? Are you a fan of Torghast like scenarios or even maybe the Mage Tower? We don't know if it's going to be challenging like that or if there's going to be unique rewards in terms of cosmetics. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the new delves. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Uh, what have we here? What are we doing? Okay, that's kind of cool. Why does he sound like Mario? Here we go. What's this? It carries me out. This is where I want to make a quick mention of the music. I've been just using the logging in music for the entire video because the rest of the scenes doesn't have any music just yet. And I thought it was still at least somewhat fitting before giving you a musicless video. Now for Ebona. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but drowning people seems like a bad idea if you want to heal them. Maybe like make sure their heads are out of the water. Okay, another cutscene. The sky overhead is overwhelmed by a huge swarm of Nerubians flying over on the way to the city. Oh, that's it. I was ready for a long cutscene, man. That's it. Nerubians. What am I doing? 
This feels like a bad idea. There currently is a bug on the alpha that whenever you get disconnected, you just lose all of the spells in your action bars, which did make filming this a lot more extensive than I had hoped for, especially since alpha usually isn't stable. So there's a lot of disconnects that go on. Just in case you see me have empty action bars, that's what's going on here. Once we did a few more just running back and forth tasks, we arrive here and witness a meeting where they collectively decide that the best way to deal with the Nerubians is to, uh, well, lure them into the Cinderbrew Meadery and set them on fire. Yahoo! And we hit level 71. Now the question is, is this where we can start? Since Demon Hunter only has two specs, we get less hero talents than the other classes with the Eldraki Reaver and the Felskart one. Right now, the Felskart is not finished. You can basically only read the flavor text and then many of the spells just say nonsense or nothing at all. Whereas the Eldraki Reaver one is the one I've been playing, but it is pretty bugged right now. A lot of it is not working as intended, I assume. So I'm not going to talk too much about that and just leave that to the Demon Hunter professionals, just so you know what we're running with. Once arrived in the Cinderbrew Meadery, of course, we shoo away the workers, set some fuses up as well as some traps, and then fight the Nerubians somewhat successfully. You're just walking past it. Hello. I'm not very good with these defenses, it seems like. Okay, we did it. I don't know how. I I think I fucked up, but... The fuses have been sabotaged. The kegs cannot be lit. Belgram knows he must do this himself. Avalgon attempts to stop him, but he does not listen. Belgrim rushes in on a stormwork and smashes the barrels. The cinderbrew ignites from the massive blast of lightning. The entire medyard explodes, killing both Xyrex and Belgrim's sacrifice is not for nothing. He manages to reunite two of the dwarven races, so at least that worked out. And I think the Nerubians were also somewhat fought back. So good job, Belgrim. Good job. Ready? Slow circling view of the core way being restored. There is a burst of light and triumphant music. When the light fades, the core way has been fixed. From there on out, there aren't any more mean storyline quests. I could still grind to level up to like 72, 73, but there is an option to just get all of the hero talents. And that is what I use to do the dungeons and the delves later on. Let me know if you're interested in this video. So I know if the effort was actually worth it and you guys like this kind of content surrounding the war within alpha. Uh, if you did, please leave a subscription, please leave a like and a comment. It helps me a lot. I know you hear this from every YouTuber, but there is a reason for it. The algorithm just gives you rewards if you do that. So please, please, if you can, I'd be very grateful and stay tuned for hopefully more alpha news now that the alpha is going to launch for more people. You can also see it on my stream as well if you want to chat about it.